Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hello everyone. Hi everybody. Right now we're in Kayla's uh, area, your home, mm -hmm. just outside of Weatherford here in Texas. We're at the old Dennis General Store and Grill and Kayla, I th I'll let you take it from mm -hmm. here. Yeah, um, this place closed up uh, about maybe 12 years ago. Um, I mean it was abandoned before then, um, you know, it was a bakery, like a donut shop, and they still got the Dennis General Store logo on there, so I thought that was kind of cool. Oh yeah, I, I love this place the moment I saw it, so anyway, let's go take a look around and check it all out. Alright everybody, here we are in Weatherford at the Old Dennis General Store and Grill. I just when we saw this earlier today, you know, I'd never seen it before, but Kayla and her family have been coming here their whole lives. I was in love with this place immediately and I had to see it. Anyway, let's go up closer to it and check it out. I just wanted to get a shot of it from back here and get the car in there because I thought it was so cool looking. Yeah, as you saw from back there, I had to uh, do a shot from the back because of the Coca Cola sign that says Dennis Grow and store or whatever <laughs> that's still cool because it's so vintage looking i love things like that and we're already out here you know in the farms and ranches and i mean look at all the cows and horses you see out here i mean all over it's just so beautiful compared to city life around pittsburgh i love this and this is phenomenal and when i saw it earlier i just wanted to come and check it out really badly all right, everybody, let's go check it out. I got my light because obviously uh, it's dark inside, but you can see windows are busted open. It is locked up. That's sad that it's just gone. I can imagine this was a cool little place. I bet. I love donuts from mom and pop type places like this. My personal favorite donut was probably the blueberry one. That's cool. Wow. It looks way different than when I was a kid. You know, even though we can't go inside, at least we can still get a good view inside. Since the windows are all busted, and that's a shame. I'm assuming vandals broke the windows. That's so sad. A little place like this. Alright, let's take a walk around. Yeah, because there's graffiti on there. Which is so unnecessary. Especially with something historic like this, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Didn't you say your, uh, your grandfather would bring you guys donuts from here yeah. sometimes? He would get us donuts from here, and then we would spend the night with him because, you mm -hmm. know, we're local to the area. He would get us donuts, and they were amazing. I can imagine. I want to watch where I step because I know yeah, there are copperheads out here. I at least want to peek in the window. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of lumber in there. There's a smoker in there. There's an air conditioner in here. So sad. So out of respect for Kayla's hometown here and the area and how nice of a place this is, I'm not even going to check the doors. I, I honestly respect this place so much. I just, I don't even want to test the waters or whatever. So besides, you can see in there pretty well anyway. So anyway, let's continue walking around this real quick. I know it's going to be a shorter video, but I still wanted to check this out really, really badly and get some photos with the car in front of the place. 
All right, so we're just walking around the whole thing here. So overgrown weeds. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to walk in those. thorns and yeah, you know, like your father was saying the copperheads are coming out this time of day i really don't feel like going to the hospital or possibly dying <laughs> yeah, if you look, to look at that little post office that's a post office and that is actually still active that's so it's cool right mm -hmm. i love those little post office like that out in the middle of nowhere like this even though we're not really we're so close to dallas and fort worth but it's so cool to find a little place like that. Obviously, they were cutting the grass here. This is fresh to do all of this. But it's such a shame. I'll walk up here. Squeaky truck, Squeaky truck gas tanks. These are pretty large. Hmm? What was out here? Um, to, my, to my understanding, I honestly don't know because it's kind of been like this for a couple years. Oh, wow. Seen better days. If there are any locals watching the video who know this place, uh, tell us what this was. Nice little addition. I wonder, was it like a little outdoor seating area or something? That's I guess it was a gas station, obviously, too, given the lights here in the parking lot. There were, like, two little pumps here. Oh, that's so awesome. And they took those out years ago. Oh, yeah. Still so cool. I love these little roadside attractions like this, these little roadside finds. And for you, Kayla, <laughs> this was home. This I was know. part of your daily routine. I ate many donuts here. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, here's where the gas pumps were. I love that because you could tell just how old these are based by the lights. And I guess you could see like where the hookups were. But obviously they're long gone. And what you said, they just, they relocated? So Valentine's Bakery mm -hmm. took over the Dennis General Store. And that was where we would get our donuts from. And Valentine's, they moved locations. But even when they were currently active, they never painted over the dinner, Dennis General Store and Grill right there. Oh, wow. They never painted over that. They never had a sign of their own. So if we wanted donuts in the morning, we would ask my grandpa. We'd be like, hey, Papa, can you go to the Dennis store and get us donuts? <laughs> so cool. Yeah, it was never known as Valentine's Bakery. It was always known as the donut store. <laughs> <laughs> So cool. I would have loved to have been able to come here. Oh, believe me. The donuts were to die for. I believe it. Little mom and pop places like this are the best. Better than big corporations like Dunkin' Donuts. Well, you know what? We still didn't get food. We still didn't get our donuts. Nah, we didn't. Yeah, I love that sign. That's so cool. Dennis, grow and stay. So, like, grocery and station, I guess. And another thing, Vintage. Another thing to kind of... Uh, realize about this place too is it's been abandoned for so long and nothing has taken over this nothing has nobody's wanted to come and do anything with it there have never been any rumors about another general store opening here or a restaurant what a shame so, you know because this is a this is a kind of like a little rural area you know there are people who live here that could you know definitely make use out of that oh for sure i would love to operate something like that in this area it's so open all the elbow space out here. I just, again, it's just, oh, I love it so much. Look, there's a horse friend back there. It's so beautiful. Well, we'll Couple horse friends. Horse friends. <laughs> Jokes aside, even though we say we're not getting food here, Kayla's father, my father-in-law, made us some really, really good dinner. I mean, I'm eating well here. I'm, I'm not having any problems finding food. I'm finding it just fine. <laughs> and we also have steak and shakes that are open here. Yeah, that's crazy. I saw a bunch of steak and shakes and open. Sears. And Sears, yeah. So I'm loving this here. I don't want to go back home. <laughs> it's so nice down here. It's such a change of pace, too, from the city life and being in Pittsburgh with all the mountains and valleys. And, and right now, this time of year, rain and cold weather. It's like a summer day down here. I love it. And... Uh, mm -hmm. 
I can't believe a Kmart picture would cause this to happen where I would be here. Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, we hope you enjoyed this little video. We have plenty more coming from the Dallas-Fort Worth area, uh, Kayla's Town. And by the way, there are going to be some big, big improvements coming to the channel in terms of the way I can do some footage from places. I'm just going to say it real quickly, but thanks to Kayla's family, her father, her mother, her brother, and everybody, they gifted us a drone and it's not just a drone it's a really really good one and I cannot wait to start using that and showing you guys places in a way that I never could before you guys have asked I knew one day I would eventually buy a drone I never knew I'd come down here and get one just like that so awesome. so mom, I've, dad younger brother you guys are awesome for that and we owe you one. Yeah, absolutely. I just, I, I, I almost fainted when I, when I unboxed that yesterday. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so thanks mom and dad. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we're going to take off. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to our channel for more content. And we're going to take off. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay awesome. And have a Dennis General store licious day. <laughs> I'm going to change it up a little bit. That's cool. You can. You're <laughs> that allowed. That was a mouthful. Yeah, it, it was. was. A mouthful. Have a camera out licious day. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.